Hi there, this is Jeff, and I'm going to go over how to get the artwork ready for a custom sized banner. So let's say you're doing a vinyl banner or even a fabric banner, and this is going to be one that you're going to hang. Usually there's grommets that are put in it, and let's say it's for a booth or for an event or even for outside. The way that you prepare the artwork is pretty straightforward, and what you do is Let's say you're using Photoshop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create an artboard by going to File and then New. And let's say I want it to be five feet wide and three feet tall. That's the size of the banner that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the actual size which is five feet wide and that ends up being 60 inches. And then three feet tall, that's 36 inches. Now since it's being printed out in large format, we wanna go ahead and leave that at 125 DPI, which is correct for large format printing. And for the color mode, CMYK is correct. If it's RGB, go ahead and switch it over to CMYK because it is going to print out in four color CMYK. Go ahead and press OK. And so this is going to actually open up the full size canvas. And what you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and drag. So you have your ruler bar here. If you don't have it visible, go ahead and go to view and make sure that there's a check mark on rulers. But you can see here's the rulers and what you want to do is click and drag a snap guide to the very outer edge. So right on the edge there on the left and on the right. And then also on the top, which you click on the top ruler bar here and drag down for the top. And then once again for the bottom, oops, all the way to the edge. There we go. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna factor in your bleed at this point, right? Because these banners get finished. They usually get hemmed, so the, the edges get folded over and they usually get hemmed or seamed. And that way it's a nice reinforced banner. And also you're gonna be adding grommets to it. So you need that extra strength and that extra thickness. And so that is what bleed is for. Now, at this point to add the bleed, all you do now that you've drawn the snap guides is you go to image and canvas size and it, you want to add a one inch bleed all the way around the perimeter. So just keep a one inch border all the way around the perimeter. So that would be an inch on the left, an inch on the right. So that's two inches. It's going to add two inches to the width. Same with the top and bottom, an inch on the top, an inch on the bottom. That's going to add two inches to the total height. Leave the rest of this alone and go ahead and press OK. So now what that did is your snap guides actually kept your place for the actual size of your banner. That's the finished size. But it went ahead and added the bleed all the way around the perimeter. So at this point, what you can do is you can actually design right on top of this template that you made for yourself. And you want to go ahead and extend the background all the way to the very outer edges. So all the way into the bleed. However, you do want to keep all the important information at least a couple inches away from the inside of the bleed line. So if this is your bleed line, make sure that your text starts right about here. You don't want it right on the edge, otherwise it's going to be too close. Now for the top, especially, what you want to do is draw another snap guide because your grommets are going to be right about... And I'm, I'm zooming in on this so that I can get the full size here. So here is your top bleed line. Go ahead and draw another inch down below that top snap guide. And that's going to represent where your grommets will go. And so you want to make sure that all your text and your logos is below that second top guideline there. So make sure that your text starts right about here where your logo doesn't go above here. And that's because you don't want your grommets to be uh, in the way. You don't want a grommet to go through your um, logo or through your text. And so use that as the way to create your artwork and make sure to go ahead and extend the background all the way to the outer edges. You don't want any white left over and that's going to be a great starting point. Once you're done, you can go ahead and uh, remove, hide or remove the actual template layer and then go, go to layer on the top here and click flatten. And that way you know you're going to have a full size document and it's going to be ready to upload. Then you want to make sure to go ahead and save it as a PDF by going to file and save as. 
and save it as a high quality PDF. That's actually the preferred file format for a custom size banner like this. And that's gonna give you a really great uh, color and output in general. If you have any questions, obviously let me know and I'm happy to help. Thanks a lot.